Ah, our nice home away from home. I don't own any of these things. It came furnished. It just did. I don't know what to tell you. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back in Anonymous Hacker Simulator. Gotta get after these perps. Got the Emerald Tower Covert Gigs. Okay. Unleash the advanced penetration. Yes, penetration. All right. Requires John software from the underground web hackify. Don't worry. I got, I got all those Johns. You know what I'm saying? I got all them Johns. Search for James Bellingham on Twitter. On the tweeters. James Bellingham. Ah, he's a pilot. We're passionate about education and knowledge. Education, educator by day, explorer by uh, of life's mysteries by night. Views shared here are my own. NYC educator. So what is this based off of? Like, what did he do? Investigate a mysterious incident involving a teacher entangled in a shadowy world of narcotics. Oh no! Follow the trail of clues, unveil hidden secrets, and piece together the puzzle of the case. Sure. All right. In the classroom, we're not just searching, uh, teaching subjects. We're shaping minds and nurturing curiosity. Education is a journey, not a destination. Hashtag teaching. Message. All right. Read news article about drug dealing incident. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Colombian officials bust major drug trade operation as key suspect evades capture. Oh, okay. Bogota. Authorities have uh, disrupted a major drug trafficking operation, seizing a plane loaded with narcotics and weapons. Oh. The alleged mastermind behind this, the scheme escaped captured during a standoff. Colombian law enforcement conducted a raid on a remote site intercepting a private aircraft loaded with a significant quantity of drugs intended for an international distribution. The operation also uncovered a cache of weapons. Despite a manhunt, the suspect managed to evade capture. Fleeing into the wilderness, the seized narcotics aircraft and the weapons are held as evidence as authorities cooperate with international partners to trace the drug network's global connections. Right. Okay. All right, so it also says read the file, read the file, log the file, zip. Okay. Okay, hash to John. Get that logged file. We're going to see if we can crack some, crack the code. Okay, testing hash. Hashish. There we go. Get in this text. So we have the hashed file. So we're doing that. Nice. Let's enter. Okay. Austin University. We went to Austin, Austin, Massachusetts. Hi. Monday, 2nd January. Jan, Jan, Jenner, January. January. Huh. Hi, everyone. I'm not feeling well, so I'll be taking a week off. Apologies for any inconvenience. I'll try to stay in touch for any urgent matters. Tuesday. 3rd of Jan January. <laughs> See, that one. That one's good. Got that one right. James, we hope you're feeling better. Just a reminder to keep us updated on our status. Friday. James, we haven't heard from you this week. Please let us know how you're doing. We're concerned about your well-being. Monday. James, it's been a week since you lost communication with us. We need a plan for your classes. Please respond as soon as possible. Los sombras de chaos. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Diego, just touching base. Everything's set for the upcoming operation. Yes, James. We're all set. Product is ready for transport. It's a good thing you're logging all this down. Good thing you can... Good thing you send this an email. Good good call. I'll be in route shortly. Expect me to arrive tomorrow as planned. Emergency. Our operation has been compromised. Colombian authorities busted us. Plane seas. I had to flee. Post syndicate shipment. Oh... Ho, 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 ho. That's, that, that's not cool. That's not cool. Downloading this website here. Checking things out. Flight 101 PDF has been downloaded to the files directory. Good, 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 good. Smuggler Alberto Franco. Aircraft registration. Okay, Median. Oh, no. Destination to Miami. 30 kilograms of co cocaine. All right. So let's get W get. Got Joe Trump. Oh no. Oh geez. I'm not touching this one, bro. Bogota, Colombia, Mexico City. All right. 20 kilograms of, of, of fine China. Smuggler Andrew Bate. Okay. That's not our guy. That's not our guy. Houston. Origin Cali, Cali, Colombia. 
50 kilograms of methamphetamine. Gotta, gotta love that meth. All right. Well, that's not it. That's not our boy. Finally, last one. James Bellingham. Aircraft registration. New York City. Barranquilla, Colombia. 100 kilograms of MDMA. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Close that one out. All right. Decide the fate of James. Option one, send flight 750 PDF file directly to the authorities at DEA.gov. Then flight PDF flights. Okay. James Bellingham, command send. Option three, syndicate. Ooh. We send it to the syndicate or to the DEA. I don't know if I want to send it to, you know, to him. Why would I send it to him? Actually, you know what? Let's send it to the DEA. Let's be the, let's be the do-gooders. Narc. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever you want to call me. Sorry there, brother. You're getting locked away. Yeah, sorry, Barry Seal. Get out of here. Boom. 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 Crushing. New news. Ooh. Ooh. Did we, get, did we catch him? Austin University teacher arrested by DEA on campus in ongoing drug trafficking. Yeah, that's what you get. Looks a little too slick for my liking. You know what I'm saying? It looks like he definitely, definitely gets down with some of his students for extra grades. You know what I'm saying? James Bellingham, a teacher at Austin University, was arrested by the Drug Enforcement Administration on the university campus as part of a continuous drug trafficking investigation. The arrest comes against the backdrop of a previous drug scandal that had already tarnished the university's reputation. Bellingham, who had fled Colombia uh, following a drug bust where officials seized the plane loaded with narcotics and weapons, was apprehended amidst a renewed scrutiny of the university's involvement in such an illicit activities. This university is just rife with just bad things, bad, bad things, but bad, bad people. Serpent Nexus Deep Dive. What is this? Okay. Search, uh, search the internet for information about Serpent Nexus. Connecting the world through seamless logistics and transport solutions. Okay. Identify any companies or individuals linked to Serpent Nexus. Okay. Together we paved the way. Join Serpent Nexus. Green logistics. Brighter future. Serpent Nexus com uh, committed to sustainable practices. Reducing footprint while keeping the world moving. Oh, they're one of those green people. Uh, let's see. Your cargo safety is our priority. Uh, exciting partnership with OpenGPT. We're diving into the future of logistics, leveraging cutting edge AI algorithms to enhance our services and deliver even greater efficiency. All right. Companies or individuals. Okay. So Serpent Nexus and OpenGPT. Advancing AI for a brighter tomorrow. OpenGPT is a leader, a leading innovator in artificial intelligence, working on groundbreaking projects to shape the future. Big news! We're excited to introduce you to Jonathan Miller, prominent figure in AI at our upcoming event. Jonathan Miller. Oh, Jonathan Miller, eh? Underscore Miller. Okay, IPs found. It's long token. All right, email found. Extra info found. Uh, repeater. Email host. Jonathan at concepts.ai. And then whatever this IP address would be. Okay, we've got Jonathan Mueller on the tweeters. Ah, an AI enthusiast. Join me in the exploring the latest advancements in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data science. Thrilled to announce I'll be speaking at the upcoming open at OpenGT GPT event. Okay. Deep dive into the world of AI. Fascinating discussion about uh, future of AI driven algorithms. Good for him. Good for him. All right. Send me an email address. Ooh, we got you. Got you. Forgot password. Let's get our notepad out. Excelente. We'll log off here. Log in. We got it. Operation Red Mantis, eh? Operations at serpentnexus.com. The operation has been ongoing for the past few days. Any details will be sent to the following email. Please log. In the recent updates, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Password is a transaction stamp carried by George Wesley through the Drifter Forum. Uh, 
Okay, so we got this is our new email. We're going to be signing into eventually. Read the file drifter.zip. Another drifter.zip, huh? George Wesley. Transaction stamp. Oh, nice. So it's right there. Awesome. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good. Good, good, good. Serpent Nexus from a previous mission. If you haven't seen that video, how dare you? Operation Ivory Skies update. Operation Ivory Blade is go. Refer to the attached file for activation details on the mission. Content deleted. Dang. Content deleted. Dang. Damn it. So he was right. Everything has been wiped out. Shenanigans. Like I mentioned earlier, you won't discover anything about Serpent Nexus. Everything that might lead to them has already been wiped out. But let's entertain the idea that there's a potential entry point. You'd need to hack into the Pentagon. Yes, you heard that right. And I have a file just for you. Now, what do you think we want in return? Well, you'll find out soon. Hmm, he might be on to something. Uh, you Without think? concrete proof, we can't expose Serpent Nexus to the public. We will need to hack into the Pentagon to find more details about Edward Oliver's shooting. By whom, where, and what the motive was behind the incident. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Hack into the Pentagon. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hack the planet. Analyze the lead government file, urban operation journal text. Really? Okay, constructive and virtual simulations, host the army, the, the army.gov. This is dangerous, y'all. This is dangerous. The Navy, not so much the Navy. You know what I'm saying? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Uh, and the host command, open Vosh. You know, I'm going to just go with the navy.gov first because it seems like every single time that I try to do something, it's always the last option. Okay. Possible back door. Should we see who's there? Huh? Intercept the HTTP request content, uh, containing the target's IP and the host name. Okay, okay, okay. WHS sender 50. Okay. Conflict PDF. So let's do interceptor from this IP address. And the host name is the WHS.gov. I can feel I can I can feel black helicopters circling my my recording area right now. All right, so we got refer, origins, WHS, application. So we have a refer for a website. We also have a download code, nifty. And it seems like analyze the intercepted file command, SQL map. Ah, there we go, SQL map. I was doing SQL dump. <laughs> I don't want to take a dump here. It's going to be fine. Sending payloads to the target. Beautiful. Just hacking into the Pentagon. Don't Don't mind me. Okay, extract data from the identified tables, command SQL dump. Okay, now we're gonna take a dump. Gotcha. Good, good, found two tables. All right, SQL dump, giggity. I feel like there's a file. Where's the file at? Ah, this guy right here. Now, when it comes also to the request here, so we have that. It's, this file it by itself is not going to do the trick. So this temp in parentheses, we go up to the request that we put in. The if none match, put in this bad boy. This value. 
Then we go down. What the crap do we have to do here? Uh, content temp, temp. Hmm. Something tells me we have to fill in those temps. Content disposition archive backup. Copy that. And content disposition temp. Archive backup. I mean, English? I mean, don't. I mean, English? Correct? Right? Is there a file? Aha. So we go further up. Language. Would be nice if we have it in English for sure. For sure. I'm missing something here. I know I'm missing something. Okay, disposition, and then we have temp requested. Go back up to our request. Requested. Ah, okay. That guy. Copy. As we, as we keep on getting this incorrect. Oh, wait, hold on. All right, temp, place that with archive, backup, language. This is ENUS. Requested temp. If none, we got to go up. So you got to sit back and just like realize what you're doing wrong <laughs> with all of this. Like, what am I screwing up? And it just turns out that I have, I have too many temps over here requested. There we go. So you just replace the temp with the things. I, I had it all screwed up. I had it everything just kind of like from the left to the right. Oh, we're in the Pentagon, bro. One DDoS attack, huh? I'm talking crazy talk here. Okay, so you want us to DDoS somebody? Dope decoy deception initiate DDoS attacks using multiple terminal windows on 50.74.30.0 command flood. Check the server state and ensure that it's offline. Command H ping. Do I have it? Is that like. Something that we got over here. H ping. Okay. We'll purchase this. $300. We got the cash. We're fine. All right. So multiple terminal windows. Right. So I'll take it. We'll X out of this. We'll minimize that. Uh, how many, how many windows are we talking here? Okay. So we flood. And looks like we're taking down this IP address. Let's copy this. Organize this a little bit better. I'm a mess. And go. How we doing over here? How we doing? Noise. I suppose. Bringing down the servers. Server status. Crushing. I like DDoS and <laughs> DDoS and the Pentagon. I'm for it. Steamy heist. My goodness. Oh, I dig it. This game's wild, man. It's one of those games where you just sit back and you, it's a, like a mystery. Only it, it's in code. And uh, you're hacking into all sorts of things. The last one was a rocket. 
hacked, basically hacked into NASA. And now the Pentagon trying to find the serpent. Yes. Yes. But folks, that is going to be your episode for today. This game is wild. And I'm going to continue on uh, playing it. I don't know if it's something that's very <laughs> interesting to watch. But uh, I dig it. And I like it. I like it a lot. Do we have any fun things? Any news? Any news? Government server breach sparks security concerns. <gasps> oh, no. It's just little old diesel. Little. Uh, this is way too sophisticated. This looks like it's a lot of wiring. A lot of, a lot of cable management. No, thank you. The cybersecurity of government systems came under scrutiny as reports emerged of a breach in a critical server. Initial fears of a significant data breach are uh, were allayed. Allayed? Delayed. Allayed? Delayed. When investigations revealed that the intrusion was a result of a distributed distributed denial of service. DDoS attack. <laughs> oh, okay. While no sensitive information was compromised, the incident underscores the persistent threats of cyber attacks on government infrastructure. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. But, folks, that is going to be your episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Have some channel ever so much more to know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, live streams every week. Make sure you hit the bell notification. Be aware of all the new content. Everyone, peace out. Let's shout, y'all. And I want to check you out right here again in Anonymous Hacker Simulator. Next time. <laughs>